100 Ks on the decoy 29er. How is it? Let's go find out. Riders, welcome back to the channel. And today we are doing a 100K test on the decoy. It's been about 40, 42 degrees in Madrid. And we've chosen a place that's quite high up, Cesarilla, and it's got a fair bit of tree cover. And I am with the Punisher Jorge, and a quick plug for him. He runs the best tour company in Madrid. The link is gonna be below. And if anyone wants to come to Madrid, he is the man. All right, riders, let's go. So drop it into the first big, well, bigish mountain riding on the decoy, following Jorge, the Punisher. Okay, so how is the decoy riding? Look, I would say, guys, 100 k's. This is the first time I ride it in really like bigger terrain. I have to be honest, yeah, I'm pretty rusty. Uh, I haven't been riding that much. It's been super hot in Madrid. Uh, been making too many videos for you guys. All right, so decoy climbs real well. Better climb it than the mullet. Descends. Oh, that's pretty chunky. Descends well. Am I missing the 27 wheels? At the moment, not really. Was riding some stuff the other day in part of my local trails and the really steep switchbacks, my favorite part. I did feel the bike a little bit like a bus, but you know, I got a year on the mullet, which I did convert to 180 and 27 wheels. And uh, you know, uh, can't really expect to be at home on the bike yet. Brakes, codes, yeah, you know how I feel about the codes. They're grabby, but definitely not my favorite brakes. The Shimano gears, I was really looking forward to trying the 12 speed, and it's good. And I found the lever a little bit sticky. So when I try and change one gear, it's changing two. That could be just healing, and we'll see how we go on that. And also, got to mention the tyres, they're 2.4, obviously 29ers, EXO casing, and they do make me feel a little nervous. Okay, downhill two on the decoy, following the Punisher, and he's gone. So a lot of you asked, what size am I riding? Look, I'm riding an XL, and I'm 183 centimeters, and I find the sizing good. The reach is a little bit longer than the mullet. Uh, I find it a little bit big, so I'm gonna probably put my 30 mil stem back on. This one's got a 40 or a 50. On those straight sort of downhills that aren't too rocky and bumpy, the bike's super planted. Let's talk a little bit more about Jorge, amazing rider in his mid 50s, and he runs a tour company with Alvaro in Madrid. And if anyone's seen here coming to Madrid, look, this place is the best kept secret in Spain for riding. Super beautiful, natural trails. And it's been a while since I've done a POV uh, video. I mean, I'm not really the best rider in the world. I love riding. Uh, it seems my most popular videos are the reviews, talking about the products. So I'm kind of just giving the viewers what they want. But here's a POV. Let us know if you like it. Let us know if you want to see more of it. And riders, remember, any questions on the decoy, I'm your man. Hit me up, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, anywhere. Email, Sam Wordley at Gmail. I'm there. 
Ooh, some chunky monkey. That was a super good test for the minions. They're actually holding up pretty well. That was bloody rocky. I think I'm just used to riding 2.6s now. 2.4s just feel so thin. So let's talk a little bit about the setup. I've done two shakedown rides and uh, I think I've got my suspension pretty well dialed. Uh, I am going to do a video on fine tuning suspension, going out and doing the bracketing. Uh, and I will get it a bit more tuned. But at the moment it's feeling good. Couldn't tell you what clicks I've done. It was all by, by feel. But something you want to know is if you're riding hard stuff fast and you start getting pushed over the bars, slow down that rebound. You. The Punisher yeah. is killing me. <laughs> GoPro is going to do this justice, but this is why we ride. Don't get me wrong, I love the downhill as much as the, the next rider, but getting out in nature is really, for me, one of the best parts about the riding. Really, this place is so beautiful. And back to the decoy. What are some of the tests you guys want to see? I had a few comments saying, should I try and chuck a 27 in the back and see how it compares? Look, I definitely can do that. I need to find myself a 12 speed 27 wheel. Uh, and uh, I'll give that a crack. I've still got the decoy. My mate is actually borrowing it at the moment. He's not sure he wants to buy an e-bike. So I might do, a Sam versus Sam, or a, a mullet versus 29 day out, and do some timed runs and just see how they compare. Uh, any other ideas, riders? Hit me up, love to know. Trying to stay on the tail of the Horge, warming up on the decoy on the 29er. But this type of trails, I'm actually really enjoying this bike. This is our last downhill. We never like saying the last downhill. The, the penultima. But we say, it's well. Those guides are super grabby. So let's talk about the upgrades. So I let the bike for three months. I wouldn't be a Sam's bike review if I don't do a couple of upgrades. So I'm going to change the bar and stem out to my my faithful fat bars and some death grips. Call me a little bit <coughs> precious, but I do like riding with my own grips, my own bars and my own stem. Don't know. And if I did have more time with the bike, I would probably change the brakes out because I still need to test the EMT5s with the 220 rotors but I was thinking of waiting for that gracias until I get my new bike for this year which I'm still not sure what it's going to be still waiting to hear back from a couple of companies still waiting to see what Shimano releases On the fast, flowy stuff, like that. Bike's faster, definitely. Oh yeah, definitely gonna change out tires. I got my um, eddy currents on order. I wanted to do the test straight up on the bike as is, so completely stock. And yeah, it's good. Realistically, you don't have to change anything. Set it up tubeless. Uh, I mean, probably for safety-wise, put a a double down case tire on the rear or some uh, cush core or something like that um, but you know this has been way pretty chunky pretty chunky monkey stuff and I haven't got a flat tire yet and I'm not running tubeless 
So, not bad. Maybe I got unlucky with the last one. Riders, so that's 100Ks done on the decoy. And I was riding in my favorite place with Jorge from Track MTV. And if anyone's thinking of coming to Madrid, you've got to come and check it out. It's such good riding. The decoy for me, the 29er, it was in its element today. The trails were pretty open and wide. There was a few switchbacks, nothing too tight. I actually really enjoyed the bike today on this style of riding. For me, the bike um, was definitely longer. I could definitely feel it in the corners, but when the trail opened up, like the bike felt more planted and because we've got the, the longer wheelbase, it just felt really, I, I felt more confident on it. Um, I am going to change tyres out, the cockpit out, and I will be doing my long-term review in the next four to six weeks. Riders, if you have any questions, please hit me up, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I'll answer anything. I'm your man for the decoy. And riders, remember, stay safe out there, and I'll see you next week.